Hello guys, this is the next part of the low poly canon animation series, in which I'm going to bring the model into the Unity game engine. I created two actions, two animations in Blender, this is the shoot animation, and the other one is the open or close animation. The next step is to export this as FBX, so that we can import it into Unity. So go to the Outliner to the root object, hold the Ctrl key pressed and click on this icon and now the bones and the model are selected. Then I open File, Export, FBX and I will export it into the Meshes folder of my Unity Low Poly Game Kit, I check Armature, Mesh and the Experimental Apply Transform, I export the selected objects only, set the smoothing to Face also don't add leaf bones. And these are the settings that I use for export. I set the name to Canon and press the button export FBX. Ok, so let's open the Unity project and as you can see, the Canon already appears in the Meshes folder. On the right side you can see now the FBX importer settings and the first thing I do is to add the low poly material to the Canon. Ok, looks good, then we can switch to the Animation tab and check if the animations are imported correctly. Alright, this was the Open animation and here is the Shoot animation. Very nice, now I drag the model into the scene and the size fits very good. Now go to the Animator component and check Apply Root Motion. After that I'm going to create an animator controller, so I just drag one animation onto the game object and an animator controller is created. It is called Canon and I drag it into the animation folder. Ok, the next step is to configure the animator controller, so I open it, then I drag it here to the side so that we can see both the scene and the animator controller. And the default state is the open close, but I will add a new state, an empty one, and define it to be the default state. Because initially we don't want to play an animation. So call this empty and then I define a transition from the empty state to the open close animation. And this state I call open because it just plays the open animation. You remember? We created one animation for open and close and the close animation is just the open animation that we play reversed. Ok, after that I define a bool parameter that I name open and when this is set to true, I will go to the open state so that the open animation is played. To do this I define this as a condition for the transition from empty to open. And after that I'm going to duplicate this open state by pressing Ctrl and D. The state I rename to close and set the speed to minus 1 so that it is played reversed. After that I make the next transition from open to close and for the condition I again use the open flag, but this time it has to be false. The last transition goes back to the empty state and this is basically the setup for the open and close animation. We can test this right in the game I started and you see that the initial state is the empty state and when I check the open parameter and set it to true, the cannon is opened and when I set it to false, it is closed. Ok, we have another animation and this is the shoot animation, we can drag this directly into the animator controller to have a new state. This is called shoot and I make a transition back to the empty state so that we return to this every time the shoot is executed and also a transition from any state to the shoot state and to execute it I will create a trigger. I call this tr underscore shoot and define it as a condition for the new transition that we just added. Ok, the animator controller is created, we can play the game now to test it. 
I'll pull this a bit to the right so that we can see it better and when I check the open parameter, the open or the close animation is played. And when I activate the trigger, the shoot animation is started. Alright, that's it for this part. We imported the model, set up the animator controller and in the next part I will write a C -sharp script so that the player can actually use the cannon. I hope you liked this series, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when the next part is available. If you want to support me, think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. If you have any questions, add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.